All right, so I'm going to talk about um, principles of mathematical induction. Um, so principles of mathematical induction. Um, the principles of mathematical induction um, is a technique for, of proving right, that we use to prove statements, theorem, formula, or it's thought to be true, right? For statements, um, theorem formulas, which are thought to be true for each general proposition that has said that something is true for all positive integers, for all positive integers from some point, right? For all positive integers from some point, then we see and this is this principle of mathematical induction. It usually involves two steps, right? So the two steps, one is that the statement is true, the first step. We usually call this the base step. And the statement is true. For the initial step, right? For n is equal to one. And then the second step, which is actually called the inductive step. The inductive step is that if the assertion is true for n is equal to k, then it is true for n is equal to k plus one. And if it holds for this inductive step, then we say that the assertion is true for every positive integer n, right? So we'll do some examples. Um, first example is this, that we want to prove uh, by mathematical induction that one plus three plus two plus seven plus 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 two n minus one is equal to n squared. So this is actually uh, a statement that says that the sum Right, the sum of the first n odd terms, right? Odd positive, yes. This is what I've written the integers is, is equal to. Right, it's equal to it's equal to it's equal to the square of the n term. Right. So this is what I've written here as one plus two plus five plus seven up to two n plus one, right? For n. Because for n being a positive integer, right? So let me put it here that n right, is a positive integer, right? It's like that. Then it holds. So using the principle of mathematical induction, we start with Pn. We say Pn, the accession is Pn. So Pn, which is one plus three plus five plus seven plus 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 all the way to two n minus one is equal to n squared. This is the accession. So we want to we want to show that this accession is true. So we need to do that for the base step, right? For the base step. So uh, in that case, let me do this for the base step, which is for n greater or equal to one, right? So the base step is n is equal to one. This is the base step, right? So this is the base step. So for n is equal to one, the base step means we check the left-hand side, the first term is one. And then on the right-hand side, if we put n to be one, then we have one squared, which is also equal to one. So the base step, which is p1 is true. At least we have P1 to be true. Then the second step, which is the inductive step, right? The inductive step. 
reductive step. We assume that n is equal to k. Then we say pk then is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus all the way to 2k minus 1 is equal to k squared. If we assume that the k term is true, then what we need to find is the k plus 1 term. So what we do is that now we say that this is the pk terms. Then we add the a p a k plus one term, which is two k plus one minus one. This is the term we add, and then we add that same term to the right hand side. If we do that and we expand, we will see that two k. So this two into bracket k plus one minus one is nothing else but two k plus two minus one, and this is two k my plus one. So we substitute 2k plus one now here to this term here. And then now we will see that k squared plus 2k plus one is the same as k plus one squared, which is exactly what we call the pk plus one term. So we know that the pk plus one term is true and therefore, Pn, which is the accession, is true for all n greater or equal to 1. Let's take another example. Another example is to prove by mathematical induction that 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is equal to half of n, n plus 1. So here it means that the sum, right, the sum of the first n, the first n positive integers, right? Positive integers is equal to half of the nth term n plus times n plus one term, right? So the session here, the session here is that you have Pn is equal to is such that one plus two plus three up to n is half n plus n times n plus one. This is that session, right? This is that session. A statement that is true. Then the base step. We start with the base step. So the base step, n is equal to one. So we take that session. The left hand side of that session is p one is one. The first term. And then the right hand side, we substitute one in place of n, that is the nth term. So this is half of one, one plus one. This is half of one times two, which is one. So we say that P1 is true. Then the inductive step, the inductive step. If we assume that n is equal to k is true, then pk is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to plus k is equal to half of k, k plus 1. Then now we can say that this is the pk term. So we add a k plus 1 term. And then this is equal to the same thing on the right hand side. And then we add now this k plus one term again to the right hand side. So now we consider the right hand side. We see that on the right hand side now, we have half k, k plus one times k plus one. We can then um, simplify this as k plus one. We factorize k plus one out, and then we have half of k plus one. If we have this, then we can factorize half out, and then we have half of k plus 2 times k plus 1, and this is equal to half of k plus 1, k plus 2. This is exactly the pk plus 1 term. So the pk plus 1 term is also true, and therefore the session is true for all n greater or equal to 1. We take another example. 
So in the example, we prove also by mathematical induction that one over one times two plus one over two times three plus one over n times n plus one is equal to n over n plus one. Okay. So we create the assertion that Pn is the assertion, right? Pn is the assertion that says one over one times two plus one over two times three plus one over three times four plus all the way to plus one over n n plus one is equal to n over n plus one. So the base step, again, the base step is that n is equal to one. If n is equal to one, then the assertion, the left-hand side is one over one times two, which is one over two. And then on the right-hand side, we have one over one plus one, which is the nth term, right? It is one over two. And so P1 is true for the base step. Then now for the inductive step, right? For the inductive step. So for the inductive step, if you assume that n is equal to k is true, then you say pk is 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1 over 3 times 4, all the way to 1 over k, k plus 1 is equal to k over k plus 1. Then you can say that 1 now the pk term plus the k plus 1 term, right? This term here is a k plus 1 term, is again equal to, now you see again on the right-hand side, this is exactly the pk term, right? This is from the pk term. And then we add this other term that we say is a k plus 1 term, okay? On the right-hand side. Now we concentrate on simplifying the right-hand side. And then by doing that, if we simplify, then we see that we can factorize, right? K over K plus one plus one over K plus one times K plus two. We can factorize the denominator and then we have K plus one times K plus two. And then we have K times K plus two plus one. We can expand it to be two K plus K squared plus two K plus one over k plus one k plus times two plus two. Then the numerator here is exactly the same as k plus one squared, right? This is equal to k plus one squared. That's the numerator. So if you have the k plus one squared, then we have the denominator k plus one, k plus two. Then we can cancel out one of the k plus one terms. So we have k plus one, and then now, we have now, we have k plus one over k plus two. But k plus two is the same as k plus one plus one, which then gives us exactly what we want, which is the pk term. So the pk term is true, and therefore pn is also true for all n greater or equal to one. And the final example, is that we want to prove by mathematical induction that 23 to the power n minus one is divisible by 11 for all n greater or equal to one. So again, we make an assertion, right? So assertion. So the assertion is that Pn is such that Pn is the 23 to the power n minus one is divisible by 11. This is the assertion, right? Then we have the base step, the base step. For the base step, n is equal to one. We have P1, which is 23 to the power one minus one, which is equal to 23 minus one is equal to 22 is true. Then we have the inductive step. The inductive step. If we assume that n is equal to k, then you say that pk is true, then 23 to the power k minus one is equal to 11m, where m is a positive integer, right? A positive integer. A positive integer. 
because if 23 to the power n minus one is divisible by 11, then it means also that you are saying 23 to the power n minus one over 11 will give us some constant m, which is a positive integer. So that is what we have written here in the inductive step. So um, if we write that, then we say that then a k plus one term will be 23 to the power k plus one minus one. And this will be the same as 23 times 23 to the power k minus one. So now we take, we, we try, Now we write 23 times 23 to the power k minus 23 plus 22 is the same as minus one up above. And now we can factorize 23 out and then this will give us 23 into bracket 23 to the power k minus one plus 22. And 23 minus to the power k minus one is what we have written here right, as is equal to 11m. So we can substitute 11m plus 22. And then we can write this whole e uh, equation here, which is 23 times lm, 11m plus 22. We can now write it as 11 into bracket 23m plus 22. We can factorize 11 out, and then we have 23m plus 2. But we know that we know that this 23m plus 2 is positive. Because m is positive, right? So we see that this 23m plus 2 is positive for m also being positive. And b a is plus 1 is true. Therefore, b n is true for all n greater than. Or equal to one. So this is um, the end of um, this lecture. And